Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we will be discussing about the synthesis and degradation of methionine. But before going to the core topic, we need to understand two terms related to amino acids that is glucogenic and ketogenic nature. Amino acids can be classified as glucogenic or ketogenic or both. This classification is based on the type of intermediate produced during their catabolism. First of all, let us look about glucogenic amino acids. The catabolism of these amino acids leads to some intermediates which directs the synthesis of glucose. So, those amino acids which yield pyruvate or any of the intermediates of TCA cycle during their catabolism are termed as glucogenic. Now let us look on to ketogenic amino acids. When acetyl-CoA or acetyl acetyl coa are formed as intermediates during amino acid catabolism, they can give rise to ketone bodies. So those amino acids whose catabolism leads to formation of acetyl-CoA or acetyl acetyl coa which in turn give rise to ketone bodies are termed as ketogenic amino acids. Some amino acids can be both ketogenic and glucogenic and they are termed as glucogenic and ketogenic amino acids. They direct the synthesis of both glucose and ketone bodies. This table shows the classification of amino acids based on glucogenic and ketogenic nature. Now, let us go on to the synthesis and degradation of methionine. This is the structure of methionine. This is a sulfur containing amino acid. If we look into the structure, the carbon skeleton of methionine is provided by amino acid aspartate. This sulfur group is donated by amino acid cysteine and the methyl group has been given by a methyl donor. So, some of the important features of methionine are it is an essential sulfur containing amino acid and it is glucogenic in nature that is its catabolism leads to an intermediate that helps in the synthesis of glucose let us move on to the synthesis of methionine its synthesis starts from aspartate and through a series of seven reactions, methionine is synthesized. If we look here, this is the amino acid aspartate and it undergoes phosphorylation by kinase enzyme with the help of ATP. Thus, the phosphate group which is donated by ATP has been added to the oxygen of carboxylic group and forms aspartate phosphate. So this is the first reaction and next is the second reaction. The aspartate phosphate which was formed in the first reaction undergoes reduction to form aspartate semi-aldehyde. Here NADH2 donates one of its hydrogen for the release of phosphate group and the second hydrogen is joined with the carbon to form aspartate semi-aldehyde. This is the second reaction. Next is the third step. Here also reduction occurs. The aspartate semi-aldehyde undergoes reduction in the presence of reductase enzyme to form homocerine. Here NADH2 donates one of its hydrogen to carbon and another hydrogen to this oxygen atom to form homocerine. This homocerine thus formed combines with the molecule of succinyl-CoA in presence of homocerine acyl transferase. This reaction results in the removal of CoA as such and forms O-succinyl homocerine. In this reaction, the hydrogen group which was attached to the oxygen is removed for the release of CoA as such. And after this removal, this oxygen atom combines with this carbon to form O succinyl homocerine. In the next reaction, this O succinyl homocerine 
react with cysteine in the presence of cystathione in gamma synthase enzyme. This results in the formation of cystathione. Here, the O succinate group is removed. If we look here, we can see that this much group is removed as O succinate and the cysteine is joined to this carbon through its sulfur group. Thus, cystathione is formed. Next is the sixth reaction. Here, cystathione is hydrolyzed by cystathione beta lyase enzyme. This results in the formation of ammonia, pyruvate and homocysteine. Here, this bond between sulfur and the CH2 is broken. This NH2 and this hydrogen is removed as ammonia. The hydrogen from water joins with this free S to form SH and another hydrogen from water joins with this CH2 group to form CH3 and the oxygen from water combines with this carbon to form pyruvate. Thus, homocysteine, ammonia and pyruvate is formed. Next is the final and seventh step of methionine synthesis. Here, homocysteine gets methylated by N5-methyl tetrahydrofolate to form methionine. This methyl donor donates its methyl group to this S group and forms methionine. Thus, starting from aspartate and through a series of seven reactions, methionine is synthesized. Now, let us move on to the degradation of methionine. Degradation of methionine is a nine step process. It begins with methionine and ends in succinyl CoA. As succinyl CoA is an intermediate of TCA cycle, we can say that methionine is a glucogenic amino acid. Let us look into this first step of methionine degradation. Here, methionine condenses with an ATP to form S-adenosyl methionine in presence of S-adenosyl methionine synthase enzyme. During this condensation, all the three phosphate groups of ATP gets removed and this carbon of ATP joins with the sulfur group of methionine to form S-adenosyl methionine. In the second reaction, this methyl group attached to S-adenosyl methionine is transferred to methyl acceptor molecule such as norepinephrine for the synthesis of epinephrine and this reaction occurs in the presence of methyl transferase enzyme. This results in the formation of S-adenosyl homocysteine. This S-adenosyl homocysteine gets hydrolyzed in the third step in presence of adenosyl homocysteinase. Here, this bond between sulfur and CH2 is broken and hydrogen of water attaches to the sulfur and the OH group of water attaches with this CH2 and results in formation of homocysteine and adenosine. Next is the fourth reaction. Here, the homocysteine formed condenses with serine with the release of water to form cystathionine. This cystathionine so formed gets hydrolyzed by cystathionine lyase to form homocerine and cysteine. Here, this bond between CH2 and S is broken. One of the OH of H2O molecule attaches with this CH2 to form homocerine. The leftover hydrogen of water joins with this sulfur group to form cysteine. In the next reaction, the homocerine which was formed gets deaminated with the release of ammonia. Here, the atoms gets rearranged and forms alpha-ketobutyric acid. This alpha-ketobutyric acid undergoes oxidative decarboxylation 
that is the removal of two hydrogen groups and carbon dioxide molecule to form propionyl coa here this co2 of alpha ketobutyric acid gets removed as co2 this hydrogen along with the hydrogen of coa sh are accepted by nad to form nadh2 the remaining s coa joins with this carbon to form propionyl coa the propionyl coa then carboxylated to form methyl malonyl coa here the co2 molecule gets attached to this carbon and the hydrogen atoms rearrange to form methyl malonyl coa now let's look at the final step of methyl methionine degradation here the atoms of methyl malonyl coa gets rearranged in presence of mutase enzyme to form succinyl coa this succinyl coa enter the tca cycle for further reactions thus through a series of nine reactions methionine is degraded to succinyl coa which in turn develop in the synthesis of glucose this is all about the degradation of methionine now let us look into some of the disorders caused by the deficiency of enzymes in meth methionine degradation first is the hypermethionemia which is caused by the deficiency of methionine adenosyl transferase second disease is a cystathionuria which it is caused by the deficiency of cystathionine lyase third is the homocystinuria one it is caused by the deficiency of cystathionine synthase so this is all about the synthesis and degradation of methionine thank you for watching